really deep right tonight and one thing that caught my attention was that for you are my strength when i'm weak right what that means is if we say we know everything we we know everything in this world and we're all good right we're not allowing god to come and work in our life right so we have to break down ourselves in his midst in his presence so that he can come and strengthen us and his power will be manifested at the time has so much of meaning that goes into that song and pretty much like what i was planning to cover uh i probably i may not need this i think <laughs> are you able to hear me you able to hear me right okay okay I don't want to stand in one place. <laughs> okay. So as we are as we are going through the worship, right? Pretty much God has already set up what he wanted to share tonight. So every time I come here, I'm I'm so glad to be in your presence here, right? In your midst here and uh, every time I come here, we all come here, we experience the touch of God. Amen. His presence is so thick and so strong that we cannot ignore that. So he set up so just as he was worshiping he doesn't he didn't even know what is the message I'm going to share but pretty much it was in those lines allowing God to come and work right our breakthrough areas. So as I was preparing for tonight I was just asking the Lord what is that I can share whatever I want but I want what Lord, the Lord wants to share tonight. Right? And there's one thing which constantly that I came to my mind was breakthroughs. How do you receive breakthrough in your life? Right? See, if I if I have to uh, don't raise your hands. If I have to uh, ask a question here, right? How many of you in this room need a breakthrough? <laughs> right? Including me. So even I need a breakthrough. Right? Everybody needs a breakthrough in our lives. we need breakthrough in our uh, in what are the lifestyle that we are in right if we are so addicted to something we need a breakthrough from that we need breakthrough in our financials right that some may need a breakthrough in your uh, job job situation some need a breakthrough in your spiritual life right to get more closer to god and if you are not able to get an interaction with the lord then which means that we need a breakthrough in certain areas because there is something else which is holding a strong a stronghold in our life which is preventing us to get closer to god so what we need to do is search what that is right search what that is and speak to it to help overcome that so tonight i i know like pretty much everybody needs a breakthrough i need a breakthrough i also do the same prayer like if there are different areas like if i need to break uh, a breakthrough i pray and tonight this message is basically is going to equip each one of you here on how to receive a breakthrough it's not very complicated okay so let's we'll we'll keep it simple not very complicated at all right but the objective is the what lord wants to do is to enable each one of you here to pray your own prayer to overcome and to receive a breakthrough in your life okay. see the first and foremost thing right first and foremost thing is we need jesus in our life right that's the first and foremost thing for any success that needs to happen and the very reason each one of you are gathered here right the very reason why each one of you are gathered here is not by your choice by by the will of god you have been hand picked chosen and that's the reason you are here you are not new to jesus right you are already in relationship with jesus right and what i'm saying is just more of a reminder right more of a reminder that we need jesus so sometimes it's very uh what to say it's very common that when you go through a storm as he uh, just was saying like it's so easy to come out of the storm keep it simple right 
so when we go through the storm we tend to forget to depend upon jesus we try to do things with our own effort with our own strength and our own uh, intellectual whatever this right but we don't depend on god and that's normal it's normal in the sense for us to miss looking up to jesus at the time so this today the very first and foremost thing is any time you go through a trouble situation any time you are going through a turbulence right the first and foremost thing is look up to jesus right look up to jesus depend on him because he will deliver he will provide the healing and that's what the word of god not me but the word of god says that and the word of god says that we know it's true right and the other thing is what we tend to do is like okay fine okay we depend on jesus once we depend on jesus we do the prayer we have the prayer and pray to jesus and then immediately we fall back to our own effort right so just register this in your mind okay when you depend on god that should not jesus should be the one and only person whom you need to be dependent on right for an answer because if we don't do that and if you also depend on our own strength to trying to do something different we pray one particular thing but we do something else then our faith is challenged there our faith is challenged there so it's very important that jesus be the one and only person whom we depend on for a solution for a healing for a deliverance or whatever it is depend only on jesus and he is the only one who can give you the healing or a breakthrough in whatever the situation that you might be going through so when i say like you need jesus in your life right i want to just actually uh, quickly read uh, three verses okay three verses which came to my mind so i just uh, mentioned that so matthew 6:33 right uh, i'm not sure how many of you are familiar with matthew 6:33 I kind of use that frequently during my prayers because it's a very simple but I feel it's very powerful. It says but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Right if you go on to read the entire chapter right what it says is no matter what your circumstances are no matter what your situation or what your problem is seek the kingdom of God first. seek him first and he will take care of everything else that is to follow Amen. you don't have to plan for it you don't have to plan for your future or whatever it is because it isn't safe in god's hand and again another thing to remind everybody is jesus is the one who had created us the way we look the way we are right in his own palms he has created each one of us uniquely right uniquely and beautifully and when he is able to create each one of us why would he not take care of our needs and future for the future right so that is something which we need to exercise during our prayer and put the faith and trust on the lord I'm going to matthew 1926 jesus looked at them and said with man this is impossible but with god all things are possible right you can put whatever situation you want to this particular verse whatever it may be with man it's impossible nothing is possible but by god all things are possible everything it's not some things or few things what he can do everything is possible and that's very important for us to know right because it's not just a verse we need to sing that in our hearts we need to meditate on that we have to cling on to that every time you pray god your word says so and so your word says that with man nothing is possible with god everything is possible i have the situation i'm totally dependent on you deliver me from the situation heal me from the situation and you know what you would be surprised he will do it he will deliver and he will heal you right stress that will okay it cannot go wrong it cannot go wrong philippians 4:13 i can do all things through christ 
who strengthen me. Right? I can do all things through Christ who strengthen me. For when I am weak, he strengthens me. And the Lord will strengthen you. Don't think. You may see a big mountain. Right? You have a, a, a verse in the scripture also. It's saying like, okay, even if you say to the mountain to move, it should move. And that's the amount of faith that we need to have. So don't get... See, that is the, one of the things with the enemy or frequently uses, right? You just stand here. You see something big, something huge that you cannot overcome. He starts putting in fear. This is too big for you to handle it. That's a slow thought that he starts putting into each one of our minds. And you know what? That slow, that small lie that the enemy puts in, it widens, widens, widens if we continue to allow him. So the moment you receive, you hear something like that, saying that, oh, okay, think that, oh, you are not able to do that, you are not capable to do it, just diffuse that in the name of Jesus and say your word says that all things are possible through Christ Jesus so this is also possible and that is how you claim the victory right you claim the victory by that so the first and fourth thing, foremost thing is you need Jesus in your life so that you are giving him the complete control and access to your life you know what the beauty is Jesus he never forces anything into anybody right that is because he has given the free will for each and every humankind to choose between good and bad it's not that the uh, it's not that jesus wants to choose us the bad thing but he's loved us so much because when we love jesus back he wants a genuine love right the true love that we cling on to him we look up to him So he never, never and never, like, because that, we have to allow Jesus to come into our life, right? He will wait until that day, right? Until that appointed time where we open our hearts and say that, Lord, I need you. Please come into my life and take control of every single situation. And you know what? When you do that, when you voice it out and pray and say that, Jesus comes right into your heart, into yourself and he starts shaping you. He starts molding you according to his will. Right? According to his will, he starts molding you and shaping you on what the destiny that he has kept in store for you. So it's very important that we allow him to come. Most of the time we say like, okay, oh, I'm not able to get a breakthrough in this area or we are not able to do these things because we pray but we don't allow Jesus to come into our life to help us through those situations. Right? So today is a reminder, like where the Lord is saying that allow me into your hearts. I'll take control and I'll bring you out of the situations that you are in. Right? So having Jesus in our lives is very important. It's very key. And we have to always be reminded that we, anytime a situation comes, good or bad, Praise God. Praise. Praise your way through. Praise your way through. Bad situation. Praise your way through. Right? The praise your way through and the enemy will flee away from that situation. So once you allow Jesus to, uh, once you allow Jesus to come into your life. Okay, I'm going to scan through. Uh, I know it's I have only 10 minutes. I haven't come to half of my message yet. So, so uh, the next thing, right? is to identify and acknowledge the areas where you need a breakthrough. Right? We are allowed Jesus to come. Now, we have to be sensitive to what the Lord is speaking. Right? To hear, okay? We may think, okay, there is no, that's nothing wrong with me, there is no breakthrough areas. But believe me, like if you pray and search, there will be areas which is holding us back. Right? So we need to identify, search and acknowledge and submit that to the Lord saying that Lord I want help in this particular area. So I want to take a quick uh, example, okay. Um, quick example of uh, Paul, right. See Paul, before he became Paul he was Saul, 
right and what was he doing he was totally against the lord right he went out and anybody who was following jesus he was threatening them killing them bringing them out and that's the kind of person who Saul was and when during that particular lifestyle that he was living right Th that particular lifestyle do you think that he regretted that what he's doing is wrong so when he actually felt that what he was doing is the right thing for a uh, emperor or whoever it is right so he thought he was uh, doing the right thing by uh, killing people by not allowing people to worship the Lord he felt he was doing the right thing so he was conformed to the pattern of the world during that time right everybody were heading in one direction so he was also heading towards that direction and he became a terror he became a terror for everyone but after he accepted Christ right after he accepted Christ, the same Paul in Romans 12 2, he says, Do not be conformed to the pattern of the world, but be transferred by renewing of your mind. Right? Do not be conformed to the pattern of the world. He was once conformed to the pattern of the world, but now he is saying, Don't be conformed to the pattern of the world after he came to the revelation and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So, how did this transformation happen? So how did this transformation of Paul happen? All of a sudden, once he was persecuting Jesus, now he has become a messenger for Jesus. You know what, if you go on to read Acts 9, uh, 3 to 8 and uh, verse 8 and 18, right? In Acts 9 chapter. Saul had an encounter with the Lord. Right? On his way to Damascus, he met Jesus. He had an encounter. Right? And cutting the story short, you know what, after, so he was blinded at that time, right? So once he went and Ananias, like he prayed over and then he received his sight. And the moment he received his sight, he was baptized immediately. He was baptized immediately and allowed Jesus to come into his life. And that was the entry point where Paul allowed Jesus to come into his life and after that he became a great apostle. Right? So the first step is allowing Jesus to come into our life and allowing him to take control and submitting everything to him. So that is very key and a very important uh, step. And once you do that, the Lord will start showing through the areas. When you ask him, the Bible says, you ask him, you will receive it. So every time you ask him, he will show you. If you want to ask him, show me the areas that you need to let go of things. He will show you. And the third point which I want to cover is uh, now that okay you have allowed Jesus to come into your life Jesus has become your priority and next is identifying what the areas that you need a breakthrough right identifying and acknowledging yes you need a breakthrough in this particular area and you need Jesus in your life to do that and the third thing is now taking authority in the name of Jesus and praying over the breakthrough areas right so Luke 10 19 it says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. So Jesus has already given us the power to gain victory over the enemy. Right? All we need to do is claim that particular verse and speak it over to your situ situation. If there is a financial breakthrough that is needed, just speak directly into that. In the name of Jesus, I take authority in the name of Jesus and I exercise my faith that this break I will receive this particular breakthrough. And you know what? You will be a greater testimony on what the Lord has done for you when you pray that prayer because very soon you will see that happening in your life. And Proverbs 18.21, that is another thing which I think, uh, it says like, the tongue has the power of life and death, right? So never confess anything negative through your mouth, right? Whatever comes through your mouth should be life, a yeah, life producing thing, right? And because the word of God, I'm not saying, the word of God says, right? Proverbs 18.21, the tongue has the power of life and death. What we speak, that's what happens. You speak life, life comes into it, right? And that's very important for us to uh, understand these kind of verses, right? So because when you pray, you apply that, you use that. 
and you will get the victory you will see the victory and finally right so now that okay you allowed jesus to come into your life right and then you have searched yourself the areas which needs a breakthrough identify and acknowledge you need a breakthrough next you have prayed the prayer over it saying that okay i take authority in the name of jesus and i'll get a healing or a deliverance in that particular area right and finally even before you see that happening right you need to give thanks to the lord and praise him for the victory that he has given because 2000 years back when jesus died on the cross right he has already given the healing the deliverance and everything 2000 years back when he says say the word it's finished on the cross and all we need to do is by faith receive it and claim it into our lives so matthew 21 22 if you believe you will receive whatever you ask in prayer right it says if you believe so the belief and the faith that you put in jesus that it will happen and you will receive it is a very key component to receive the miracle or a breakthrough in your life right i just glad that i was able to quickly summarize what i wanted to cover so just to finally summarize right so first thing is you need jesus in your life that is the first and foremost thing without jesus the rest of the points doesn't apply so we need to have jesus in our life that's the first and foremost thing second thing is identify and acknowledge the areas requiring a breakthrough in your life right again alone it cannot be done you have to apply the point number 1 here so where we need jesus to show us that right and then pray take authority over the breakthrough areas in the name of jesus that's the third and the fourth thank the lord for what he has done he is going to do basically right you pray for a financial breakthrough say like thank you lord for giving me the financial breakthrough and that exercises your faith right you exercise your faith and pray so you don't have to wait for a wednesday or a sunday to happen that but you right from your closet or wherever you are there you can just pray that prayer right and help and god will help you overcome these situations right Amen. So, uh, uh, I, even as we wind up, right? If anybody needs uh, prayer, please come forward. The uh, brothers are here. So, if you want to agree and pray in prayer, we can uh, please spend time in uh, prayer, right? Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Master. Lord, thank you, Lord, for the word that you had given, Lord Master, tonight to help. Lord Jesus and to equip each one of us here a Lord master to receive our own breakthroughs a Lord own breakthroughs a Lord Jesus Lord we know your word says through you everything is possible everything is possible and all things are possible through Christ Jesus Lord tonight a Lord master Lord yes we allow you Lord master to come into our life and to search Lord Jesus Lord help us a lot to identify the areas that needed a breakthrough so that we can pray over it and be victorious in the name of Jesus Lord Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord for you have hand picked us and you are there in our lives Lord Without you we are nothing oh Lord Jesus We are nothing without you, O Lord Master. The very reason we are here, O Lord Master, is because you have pulled us from the path that was going to destruction, Lord Jesus, and redeemed us by your blood. And that's the reason that we are here, Lord, today. Thank you, Lord, for empowering us tonight. empowering each one of us tonight our lord master to take authority and pray in your name o lord so that we may be free we may receive the freedom o lord jesus freedom from every bondage every situation that's holding us back o lord thank you lord thank you for what you're going to do o lord jesus and thank you lord master for you are going to speak to each one of them o lord master empower them o lord master and answer each and every prayer that they carry o lord jesus thank you lord 
Thank you, O precious Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We ask all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.